But First 25 News reporter Eliza Navarro leads off our team coverage of the storms in today's cleanup from China Spring. Yesterday was the first day of severe weather for 2020, and some neighborhoods throughout Central Texas were hit a little harder than others. First reaction was I was just grateful that everybody was okay and nobody was hurt. Some people spent their morning fixing yards and cleaning up the mess left after Friday's first severe weather day of 2020. We had five sections of fence come down. Uh, one of the posts was actually uh, broken in half and uh, the AC unit was flipped upside down uh, and then the shingles on the roof. Other than that, we did not have any water damage. One of our neighbors had some water damage from missing shingles. This video taken by 13 year old Olivia Kaju shows the mess left behind as storms swept through a China Spring neighborhood. My daughter was home by herself, so at first we were panicked because we couldn't get in touch with her on the phone. And we had one of the neighbors come over and knock on the door and she was able to answer the door and everything was fine. She was just taking care of the dog who was having a heart attack because <laughs> he was so scared. It was kind of freaky, but um, I, I was more worried about the only other living thing in the house, which was my dog, and I've had him since I was an infant. The Kaju family has lived in this home for four years and say Friday brought a first. They take comfort in the fact that everyone made it through safe as they picked up the mess and hope for the best as the 2020 storm season is around the corner. Could always be a whole lot worse. Yep. We were, we're lucky compared to some people I've seen on the news. Mm -hmm. I've seen a lot of tragedy, but this is one of the better circumstances. Other neighbors I talked with said there was a trampoline on the roof of a home, but everyone said they were glad no one was injured. I'm Eliza Navarro, 25 News.